As you can tell, it's better light in here because I got a new bulb put in my room. Although this one, hold on a minute. The one in, the one right here might go out soon. But I'll just have to bet on that instead. So far, I'll have to just bet on that. Anyways, guys, it's better late than never. Movie news for this week. It's Wednesday, and I know that. Wow, you're way overdue. But of course, who the hell's not? I've been lazy all week. Tomorrow, I think I may see Spy. Fucking focus. Of course, you guys know that the biggest and most anticipated release of today, of this week, is Inside Out, the new Pixar movie. I'm really excited to see this because I mean, I love Pixar. And I've been wanting to see the original project from them for the last, in a few for a few years. Because all they've been doing is sequels and a prequel. Not prequels. They've only done sequels. They've done only one prequel. And so many sequels. And of course, where's that got them? Well, Cars 2 may, got, may have been a big success, but all it did was ruin their streak of critical and commercial success. Commercially successful, but not critically. Got mixed reviews, and of course, it's the only Pixar movie I don't like. Although I think any, I think everyone hates them. I hate it. I think everyone hates it now. If they didn't hate the first car, hate the first cars. I thought that was. It's not up to par, but it wasn't terrible. However, with Inside Out having a hundred percent of Rotten Tomatoes, based on fifty-three reviews, there's just so much potential to be successful. I mean, come on. Pixar! You have Amy Poehler, Mindy Kaling, Phil Hader, Louis Black, Phyllis Smith. What more do I have to say? Oh yeah, it's directed by Pete Doctor who made Up. I just got out of bed because I can always the bed head. Right there, yeah. Pretty sad. Yeah. If you made Up, then might as well we might bet on you. Also on Sun... Ugh, never mind, not, not talking about TV. This is movie news. Movie news. God, that sounds terrible. And of course, we also have Dope, which is a comedy drama coming out the same week. You may have heard of it. it stars Zoe Kravitz, Forrest Whitaker, Tori Revolori. If Tori Revolori is not familiar to you, he was in the Grand Budapest Hotel last year. He was Zero, the new bus boy. Seriously, guys, if you have not seen the Grand Budapest Hotel, first of all, you piss me off. Because I love that movie, it's so funny. Seriously, it was funny. Also, you may have heard of Dope if you were at the Sundance Film Festival on January 20th. If, if you ever got to see it Jan at Sundance at on the 24th of, Jan of January 24th. Wait, is it true that he's in it? Or is that just shit? Is that bullshit read off on Flickster? Seriously, I hate if. Zero Mustafa. Lobby Boy. Lobby boy, he was the lobby boy. Lobby boy. Sorry guys, I was just saying repeating that because I don't think you can understand what I'm saying. That is a great movie though, I loved it. Five out of five. I love Wes Anderson. Coming for his next movie. You want to see me get good you make Seriously, this guy doesn't disappoint. Oh so idiosyncratic. Okay, Forrest Whitaker I think produced it. Yeah. He produced it. <sighs> okay, it says he's the narrator from what I'm reading on here. I'll probably put some more information about that. Yeah, and I'm dragging this on like an idiot. Look at this. 
This is 20 hours ago. So it's within this week. Yay. Jeremy Lawrence, Chris Pratt, sci-fi film passenger scores green light after Sony behind the scenes drama. Okay. Do you look it up for yourself? Directed by Morton Tildum, who made films like uh, Headhunters. I didn't see that one, although I, I want to. It's on Netflix. And uh, The Imitation Game, which people love. Yay, we all loved it. It won an Oscar for a screenplay. It's written by John Spates or something like that. Kyle who co wrote Prometheus. And I think he's in the midst of writing Doctor Strange, one of the new Marvel movies, which also starts playing Cumberbatch. Does that make any sense, actually? No, because I don't think John Spates and Ben Cumberbatch have any sort of collaboration or really work together on a film. No. I'm trying to this along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it says he's a narrator, according to IMDb. I'm looking at some other uh, news. I actually have to tape that. I actually have to tape that thing in my wall, my the sign, because the door, the paint's coming off, which is not good. They'll notice it and they'll kill me. Well, maybe not, but they'll just be mad at me. Infinitely Polar Bear. The movie starts so we saw that, yeah? Mark Ruffalo. 39%, not great, but still good. And of course, we all know how much we love Zoe Saldana, Guardians of the Galaxy. Also, she was in the Book of Life the same year. Star Trek. Avatar. Yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Also, I have this thing called The Overnight. Taylor Schilling's in it. 91% and it's a comedy. And there's this film called Eden, or Eden, Eden, I don't call it Eden, comment below, E-D-E-N. Starring Greta Gerwig, who you may know, collaborated with Noah Baumbach a few times, and also also wrote the script for uh, Frank Francis Ha. I haven't seen that, I really want to, because I mean, I'm getting more into Noah Baumbach, because I've seen, I mean, he co-wrote... You know, Squid and the Whale, which is all another great Wes Anderson movie. And also I saw while we were young, four and a half out of five. You know, that was a pretty good movie actually. I can't believe that audience is doing fifty nine percent. Do you guys really is that not your thing? I don't know. But this is boring as hell. There's also this movie called it's actually out now. That came out today on Wednesday. Called The Tribe. It's a drama, it's an art, from what I heard, it's like an art house porn to Flexster. 90% based on 41 reviews, so that's kind of good. <laughs> yeah. You probably don't care about anything else. You probably only care about Inside Out and maybe Dope. I care about both of them, because they're both opening. In sense, in Silverado. And I'll be able to see them because why the hell wouldn't I? Fuck my back! Anyways, guys, that's it. That's my news for this week. Compla, which, which of these movies are you looking forward to this weekend? Are you going to see any of them? Are you not going to see any of them? And are there any other movies that I missed? Compla, let's go on the channel for more videos.